The documentary Dreams in Shambles sparked extensive discussions and gained significant attention, particularly on social media. The Ghana Education Service expressed concern over the documentary, stating that, if not addressed, some children who are responsible for taking care of their younger siblings while at school may drop out due to frustration. Watching the documentary, um, personally, I found it very worrying. Because even an adult, if you have a kid with you, the distraction alone, it's something else. You just cannot focus on your studies. Um, we believe that um, this is beyond Ghana Education Service, and we need to work. It's kind of an interagency, inter-ministry kind of thing that we need to consult or contact the district assemblies to come up or to help us come up with strategies that we can, we can help curtail this particular um, issue. Because if we are not careful to, then the parents, like um, one indicated, will not even allow the, those that are even ready to go to school or the adults to even stay in school at all, because they will then stay at home. The GESPRO expressed gratitude for the stories shared in the documentary and pledged to help re-evaluate strategies to address educational gaps, particularly in the northern region. If care is not taken, some may even drop out of school. The agencies and the districts would also have to come in and support so that these districts with this prevalent issue would have it resolved and then we ensure that the students stay at home and stay in the school with no distractions. Again, we cannot rule out community engagement. We have been doing that all the time. And so we'll continuously do that and to um, engage the parents, to educate them, for them to appreciate the need to keep the awards in the school and again to help them get that peace of mind in the education space. Ghana Education Service plans to reassess its interventions to enhance education training for more parents and community leaders. We are embarking on a 1990-90 plan. Um, the first 90 we are working with the traditional leaders, the opinion leaders, we are working with parents, every stakeholder in the community to ensure that at least 90% of um, pupils in class four will be able to read well proficiently and will ensure that this same 90% also transition to junior high school and to senior high school and then we track their record with the support of the community, these stakeholders in the school and also ensure that those that get into the senior high school also get enrolled or get, find themselves in the tertiary space. The documentary explores the challenges faced by young girls in the northern region in balancing school attendance with caring for their younger siblings, which hinders their academic progress and future prospects. Godwin Asideba, TV3.